Welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video. We sell all the coolest Japanese collectibles and figurines straight out of Japan. And you can find out more details about us in the description of this video, including our Facebook page and our online store. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the S Cultures, or the officially it's called the World Figure Coliseum figures that are scheduled for release in 2018. Um, Let's now actually have a look at those. So this is what the releases are going to look like. Um, now I actually used to do a lot of these videos before, um, but you know some people don't like them because they're not showing actual figures. So if you do like this kind of video, you want to see more of this, uh, please um, leave a like or a comment, and I may do more of these in the future. But um, yeah, those, uh, I mean, collectors will be familiar with the S Cultures line. Uh, as I said, they're calling this the World Figure Coliseum. And that's because there are actually, for the first time, there are sculptors from outside of Japan who um, have done uh, sculpts for these figures. So these are the six figures that we have. You can see the three Japanese artists here, and then we have the three foreign artists uh, here. So in terms of talking about the lineup for next year, um, I think it seems like a decent lineup. I think we've had better lineups in the past. I think we've had worse lineups in the past. Uh, what I don't like about the lineup this year or for, for next year, for 2018, because that's when these figures are coming out, um, uh, even though I love Trunks, I mean, Trunks is my favorite character, I don't see why they had to do two Trunks figures, and same with the Goku. I don't really see why they had to do two uh, Goku figures for that um, either. But it is cool that we get a freezer and a cell. I really wish they. I say this all the time, but you know, maybe did some characters that haven't really had figures, like maybe Android Seventeen or Debora or um, who else? Maybe Vegeta when he first comes to Earth. Maybe Supreme Kai, Mr. Popo. I mean, there's so many different ones that they could do. But anyway, now what I'm going to do in for this video is I'm actually going to talk about my thoughts about each of the individual figures. Uh, but you can, in fact, I even encourage you before you watch this video to go to this site. I'll put a link in the description and you can go through these in your own time. And... Uh, I say that because I'd like people to look at these in your own time and then leave a comment which one you like best before you keep watching this video because I don't want to influence people's opinion. I don't want to say like, okay, this figure's good or this figure's bad and then, you know, other people just agree with me. I'm really interested what other people out there think and I don't want to influence people's opinion. But then again, I don't see there much point in just showing the videos and not offering my thoughts because then there isn't really any point of doing a video. So anyway, let's jump straight into it. So the Trunks, this is the Trunks figure. Um, as I said, Trunks is my favorite uh, character. I think this figure looks really amazing. And uh, I think this is the scene where he cuts Android 18 or attacks Android 18 after they escape from Dr. Giro or Dr. Giro's laboratory. But I love the detail, just the, the, the seam, the cuts, even the hair. I like the paint that they used as well. Just looks really good. I always love the figures that uh, do things in sort of an action pose. So I'm really happy with the way that this actually looks. I like how they also use the anime version of the jacket, which is the dark blue rather than the manga version, which is like the turquoise blue, which they did in S-Culture Series 4. But overall, I think this really looks very, very impressive. Um, probably my only complaint, well, it's not a complaint, but I kind of wish that they did Trunks when he was cutting Freezer. And then as a separate figure of done Cyborg Freezer being cut, I think that would have been just super cool. Because I was really hoping they were going to do that with the dramatic showcase line, and they didn't. Um, so rather than just have a one-off standalone trunks, I would have liked to have seen that. But the figure itself, amazing, amazing. This looks like a really, really good figure. Uh, so moving on to the next one. 
this sculptor, well, I mean, all of the Japanese sculptors, they're, they're really, uh, they're the big names, you know. Now, I want to just quickly explain why Goku is wearing this strange outfit. Uh, so, very, I'll explain it as quick as I can. So, Dragon Ball is actually based off a traditional Chinese novel called Journey to the West. And I have read it, although it was many years ago. But from memory, it's basically about this Buddhist monk who has to travel west uh, to India to deliver these um, scripts or like uh, religious scripts. And because the monk is like really weak, he has accompanying him this monkey called Sun. And uh, he was like sentenced to hell and all this sort of stuff. But anyway, so he has to help the, the Buddhist monk. And uh, he actually has this gold ring around his head because if he's a naughty boy, then the monk can say something and it shrinks and it hurts him. Um, and he also has this pole that can stretch and he also has, uh, does he have the cloud? I don't remember. Maybe he doesn't have the cloud. I'm pretty sure he has the stick that he can wield. So that's where this outfit is from. It's actually from Journey to the West. And Dragon Ball was, as I said, particularly in the early days, loosely based off Journey to the West. Now, I don't think Goku ever actually wears this in the series. He may, from memory, have appeared this way in some of the starting theme, the starting credits. Uh, there has been a figure of this released before, as well as a Journey to the West version of Gohan. Um, but that was many years ago in the Sofubi line. So it's pretty cool that they did this, certainly something quite different. Uh, some people will like it, some people may not. But um, again, I really like that they've just done something different and quite a difficult figure to make, I think, when you look at all the detail and the the texture and all that sort of thing on it. Um, quite a difficult challenge to do. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. So people usually refer to this as the Wukong uh, Goku or the Sun Wukong Goku. So pretty cool looking stuff there. Moving along, uh, Cell. So as you can see, this is one of the foreign uh, sculptors. Now that we did get a Cell in S Cultures Series 1, I think they, it's actually a very rare figure now, so clearly people like it, but it was released many years ago, 2011. But I think they they made, the, the coloring wasn't quite right. I think the face wasn't quite right. So it's nice that uh, they're redoing it. Um, now, what really gets my attention is just some of the texture on the, you can probably see it better here, on the uh, the breastplates, because Sal does not actually, it doesn't actually appear that way in the series. And at first I was like, uh, I don't know, I don't really like it, it looks strange, but I don't know, I kind of, I kind of like it now actually. Um, I'm not sure, sometimes things grow on you. Um, so I actually, yeah, I've probably softened my stance on this now and actually saying I quite like it. It's also interesting to see that, to me, I can sort of tell this is molded by a foreigner. And I think that's good. That's the whole point of getting sort of different perspectives and different sculptors. And I say that because he's kind of got this almost superhero, kind of Superman type sculpt. And, you know, you look at the muscles, like the leg muscles here, um, and just as well as the, the chest. I quite like it, actually, overall. I think it's a pretty, pretty good figure, and I really like how the, uh, hopefully you can see this, the legs are actually raised up rather than just uh, flat on the ground, so quite like that. Uh, moving on, so this is the Dragon Ball Super Trunks, and I have to say, when I first saw this, I was like, okay, that actually looks pretty cool. But when I saw the total figure, I was a bit disappointed because I think the top half looks fine. But just from here, the way that they... I think this sculptor wasn't very good at kind of getting the crease marks in the the the, the legs. And I know, if, you know, I, I draw a lot of Dragon Ball just for fun. And, it, you know, whenever you draw the outlines of a, of a, of a character, there's an, all these little lines and things inside. And I don't... I'm not sure he quite got that right because to me, this here... Just how it's so straight, it almost looks like a layer of, of fat. And then just here, it's just so smooth. Probably should have had to have a couple more lines and things in uh, in these in these pants. So I sort of think the top half looks great, 
bottom half maybe not so great but that's just my personal opinion um, it's also missing the capsule corp it doesn't actually say capsule corp but it should say capsule corp rather than just the uh, the logo but that's the Dragon Ball Super Super Saiyan Trunks um, and then we have this figure uh, which is the Super Saiyan Goku. This sculptor has done quite a few Super Saiyan Goku figures. He did the Super Saiyan, uh, sorry, the S Cultures 5 Super Saiyan Goku. Um, I think this figure looks great, actually. I think uh, it really looks good. Uh, Kamehameha is also nice as well. Um, but I just think we've had so many Super Saiyan Goku figures that I probably would have liked to have seen uh, something else. But it is a very impressive figure just all the cuts and the you know the tears and the clothes and even you can see the texture on the bottom of the foot but uh, yeah I probably just would have preferred to have seen a different character being done and then here we have Freezer I love the paint job on this maybe it should have been a little bit more purple but I really hope the final products has this glossy look to it love the scouter as well it looks fantastic just overall I love the just the the paint job and the mold I think just looks absolutely fantastic uh, really like it probably again it's not a complaint but I think the only thing I'd say is if you're gonna get a, a first form freezer maybe it would be better to get him in the in the little space pod as I have that Ichiban Kuji that was released about 10 years ago which is now really rare and expensive um, and then I have Dodoro and Zarbon on either side but I mean, this figure itself just, I mean, it looks amazing. Really, really like this. Um, so, yeah, so they are the six releases. Uh, now, these are the actual voting. So this is what people voted for, um, what their favorite. Gee, those two are very close, weren't they? Um, personally, for me, I would say this one definitely number one for me. I would actually rank Freezer second for me. I was really surprised that this only got 8% of the votes. I really feel sorry for this uh, sculptor, Rodrigo uh, Pralia, if I'm pronouncing that right, because um, I thought that was a really good figure. So I'd probably rate this second. Third, I'd probably rate the Cell. Uh, fourth, I'd probably go the Wukong Goku. Fifth, the Super Saiyan Goku. Not because I dislike the figure, just because I think we've had too many Super Saiyan Gokus. And... Uh, Last, I would rank the Super Saiyan Trunks from Dragon Ball Super. So that's just my opinion. And then there's also three of the... Uh, I know it's pretty confusing, but then there's World Figure Colosseum for China. So these are three Chinese sculptors. Uh, so the first one here is Super Buu. So this is when he escapes from the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. Uh, probably a good one for Halloween, isn't it? Um, don't know how many people are going to want a boo in this form, but uh, you know, given that we have had boos in the past, um, I think uh, it's nice again that they're doing something different. Then we have Margin Boo. I'm hoping this one's a bit bigger because the S Cultures 3 one was a bit small. But uh, I don't know, to me, the quality just doesn't quite look as good as. The other ones. I'm not sure how Ben Presto are dealing with these releases. I know they're definitely releasing the other six that I just showed you. I'm not sure how they're going to go about the whole marketing and release of the Chinese ones. But uh, anyway, so that is Margin Buu. And then the last one, Gogeta. Of course, we recently had the SS Gogeta in the figuration line. But you can see just very simple. Like the feet just look very simple. Um... Just, I mean, actually, that that actually looks pretty good, but to me, there is a just a bit of a notable drop off in the uh, the quality of the uh, the sculpts. But uh, there it is; they are the World Figure Coliseum figures for release in 2018. Love to know what you guys think, uh, uh, including maybe your top three or how you would rate uh, these figures yourself. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this content, please leave a like or subscribe to uh, this channel for more great uh, content about Japanese figures. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.